Here is another building designer tip, something that should make sense after I show you how the problem is created. And it has to do with the parallel movement of a stairway above or below. For example, if I'm going to have stairs that stack on top of each other and are going to be located in the exact spot on the floor plans as the one directly below it, then you shouldn't have a problem as long as you're going to be using the same tread and riser measurements along with the floor joist and the floor sheathing measurements. So in our example here, we have an 8 foot ceiling and our floor is 12 and a quarter inches tall. And I went ahead and drew some lines here so that we can see what the original position was on the stairs. And you can see here where I have moved the lower stairway in this direction 12 inches. And this is actually going to increase our headroom. If I move it 12 inches in the opposite direction, it's going to create headroom problems. So again, the stairway above is in the same location as our first example except we have moved this stairway in this direction 12 inches. And if I move the upper stairway 12 inches in this direction, I'm going to have more headroom. So again, I've relocated the lower stairs back to their original position. However, this isn't going to be the case if I move the upper stairway 12 inches in this direction, where you can see the headroom clearance problem right here. And this component here measures 6 feet 8 inches. That's usually going to be the minimum clearance for a stairway according to most building codes. And I understand this is a difficult thing to explain. However, within a few minutes with these drawings here, it should be a lot easier to wrap your mind around. However, if it isn't and you're still having problems with it, feel free to let us know in the comment area. And thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to visit our website. We have an organized list of our videos there. You might have a difficult time finding that anywhere else.